Hi everyone, welcome back to question number 49 of the series. The question says the manufacturer of a table sells it to a wholesale dealer at a profit of 10%. The wholesale dealer sells the table to a retailer at a profit of 30%. Finally, the retailer sells it to a customer at a profit of 50%. If the customer pays rupees 4290 for the table, then its manufacturing cost is what? Now in this question, there is an important point to understand. Initially, it is sold at a profit of 10%, which is 1 by 10. Then it is sold at a profit of 30%, which is 3 by 10. And then it is sold at a profit of 50%, which is 1 by 2. So it's kind of a successive increase in the price by 1 by 10, then 3 by 10, then 1 by 2. To deal with these kind of questions, as I have told you before also many a times, so 3 by 10, 1 by 10, and 1 by 2. 1 by 10 has 10 in the denominator, 3 by 10 has 10 in the denominator, 1 by 2 has 2 in the denominator. So the initial price should be such that when I do 1 by 10 of it, still it should be divisible by 10. When I do 3 by 10 of it, still it should be divisible by 2. So that ways I want the number to be a multiple of 10 into 10 into 2. Take a number which is a multiple of 10 into 10 into 2. I am not saying a common multiple of 10, 10, 2, which is 10 only. I am saying 10 into 10 into 2. So 10 into 10 into 2 is 200. Let us say the initial price of uh, the manufacturer of the table is 2,200 rupees, a multiple of 10, 10 and 2. Now he sells it at a profit of 1 by 10. So what is 1 by 10 of 200? It is 20. So when you add 20, it becomes 220. He sells it at a profit of 3 by 10. What is 3 by 10 of 220? It is 66. So he sells it for 286. Then finally, this guy is selling it at a profit of 1 by 2. What is 1 by 2 of 286? It is 143. He must be selling it for 429. So if the initial price is 200, he should be selling it for 429. But he is selling it at 4290, which is exactly 10 times of this. That means the initial price is also 10 times of this. And that gives me the right answer for this question as 2000B option. And that's the right way of solving these questions. Thank you very much.